How would they accidentally find one? I'm pretty sure that Megan would keep anyone from finding out anything. Meghan Markle gave birth, so I figure at least that part is fake. But the surrogate wouldn't have been tested at the time, an inside source revealed. In the days leading up to Prince Harry's wife Meghan giving birth, the couple was done to learn a DNA test using amniotic fluid routinely performed on royal babies revealed that the Harry is not the child's daddying. At the same time, Prince Harry fought against the findings and said the DNA test conducted in the utero was a scam before going for a second. The revelations have been brought to light by the Globe, and for their findings, the Duke of Sussex was made to take over two separate tests that proved the palace officials wrong. The insider source was even quoted saying, at the time in the days leading up to Prince Harry's wife Meghan giving birth, the couple were stunned to learn that a DNA test using amniotic fluid routinely performed on royal babies revealed that the Harry is not the child's father. Once the results came in, Prince Harry was reportedly furious and refused to accept anything. At the time, Meghan Markle is rumored to have broken down into tears, while Prince Harry turned a ghastly shade of white. Well Henry you've been conned by a con artist and her hanger-ons. Henry's been firing blanks for quite a while and she's been barren for years. How can two people whom can't reproduce a child have children that have blue eyes and red hair? Shortly thereafter, he branded the first DNA test a scam designed to destroy his relationship with Meghan and the baby. Later on, he took another test, which proved Archie really was his son. Anon, who worked in California for child services, has been out to their home three times, and there are no children that are present every time. Her and her partner have gone out to the home, no toys, no clothes, no food for the children. If you like to contact the Department of Child Services, you will find out for yourself. She has just called me back, and they are opening up a case against both Harry and Rachel Ragland. King Charles wants to stop Archie Harrison from inheriting the Duke of Sussex title from Prince Harry, according to a royal commentator. Earlier this month, the Duke of Sussex, 38, and the Princess of Sussex embraced their American life by taking in an Independence Day parade Tuesday near their home in Montecito, California. An eyewitness who shared a photo with the Post reported that Meghan Markle, 41, also attended the event with the couple's four-year-old son, Archie. In pictures obtained by the Post, Harry wore jeans and a green crew shirt with a baseball cap to the outing, while Lilibet looked more patriotic in a blue and white floral dress with white knit stockings and red shoes. On the other side of the Atlantic, Harry's estranged family King Charles, Queen Camilla and the Prince and Princess of Wales gathered in St. Giles Cathedral on July 5 to mark the King becoming monarch in Scotland with a service of thanksgiving, gun salute and RAF fly past. The Duke did attend his father's historic coronation ceremony in Westminster Abbey last month on May 6, however he jetted back to Montecito as soon as the service wrapped to get back to his family.